Hello there, Facebook people, YouTube people, and everybody else people that might be tuning in. I hope y'all had a great New Year's, and it's a fine New Year's Day. Fine. I might have mentioned it to you the other day. I was going to pull, hey, hey, Kimberly. I was, I, what I did is my car had been sitting outside for a couple of weeks, Kimberly, after I put that Optimum Clear Coat Restorer on it. And I, Miss Linda. And it had gotten kind of nasty and dirty. I got some photos in another video I'll post up shortly. But what I've done, I just pulled it out in the driveway. I took a power wash. I just rinsed it off. And then I foamed it with a snow foam can and just some maintenance soap. In this case, Meguiar's Gold Class. Let that sit for a few minutes, rinse that off. Then I took my blower and I force air dried it. So, because why folks? So I minimized doing this across the paint and putting any scratches on it. All right. Then I pulled it in here in the garage and I'm just kind of playing around and I did what we call a rinseless wash on it. Thank you, Kimberly. The o and R rinseless wash, which is no hose, no nothing like that. And I did that. Hey, Gary Robinson, how you doing, brother? And after the I did the rinseless wash, I finished drying it off with a fairly expensive towel. It's called a Sucker Junior. That towel right there dried that whole car, and it's still just slightly damp. They say it'll hold up to, a, that one towel will absorb up to over a gallon of liquid. Comes from uh, luxury microfiber. You have to order it. And if you're going to be drying your car with a towel for any reason, I would highly suggest that you get you one of those. The difference between that drying towel and that expensive polishing microfiber towel over there in terms of drying ability not even close not even close you can't buy that quality microfiber towel on the retail level you have to order those that also comes from luxury microfiber on the internet but i don't know if y'all remember or not my previous video i showed you and maybe some of the photos this car was pretty nasty had a lot of water spots on it a lot of road film I had to drive at a time or two and dust and all that kind of stuff because it had to sit outside for a couple of weeks Gary while I was working on other people's cars so I was just kind of spiffing it up and this is the advantage of having the proper protectants on here I've got optimum clear coat restore on this one not every car needs that but what I'm going to do shortly is paint prep it and I'm going to put I, probably a ceramic coating on it and then put a ceramic coating topper on top of that. And then most of the time, all you have to do is just rinse it off, blow dry it with the weed eater, and you're good to go. That look satisfies most people. But you could see for not even doing a contact wash, not really. And this is a wash you could do in the dead of winter if you needed to. The dead of winter. There's several different methods of doing a rinseless wash. I do kind of a combination of those. And there's plenty of videos if you Google rinseless wash. It'll tell you. There'll be several videos. Different people show you how to do it. I rinse it up according to their instructions. I, got, I had a gallon in that bucket. And you can see I haven't even used nowhere. Maybe a half a gallon. Maybe. And what I do is I take my wash mitt, it's a decent quality with the long fingers on it. I dip it in there so that it's soaking. And then I also, this is just my own method, I also have some rinseless wash mixed up in this cheap sprayer. I think it was five to eight bucks somewhere. It's just a cheap one, that's all I use it for. And I spray, I pre-spray a little bit of O&R on there. Let it sit for a minute or two. And then I wring out my wash mitt where it's just damp, not soaking wet, not dripping. Just where it's wet, but not dripping wet. 
And what you do is you take, after you've wet it down with O and R, and then you've got this soap, you don't take it and just rub it across the paint like that, like you would your typical wash. What you do is you take it like this and you kind of, you're trying to scoop the dirt up off of it. And then I would turn it like this. And then when I move to the next session, I would flip it over. I look at it carefully and I see a little dirt on there. Then I take it out and I blast it off with my hose or my power washer so that every, it, I'm not rubbing dirt across my paint. I'll use this, this towel here to dry off what I just did. Because you, your, your mitt's going to pick up dirt. I, I still got water spots on there, I don't understand, but they go away when it dries. Uh, I guess that's some kind of calcium deposit or something, I'm not sure what that deal is and nobody's really been able to tell me but I guess if they don't show when it's dry who cares right <laughs> I mean really Jimmy if you got a spot on your paint and it only shows when it's wet and it goes away when you dry it no big deal don't sweat the small stuff right Mr. Cordell <laughs> but Jimmy what I was telling everybody all I did was pull this car out and I just rinsed it off I foamed it rinsed that off and pulled it in here and did a quick O and R rinseless wash on it and it looks pretty good because it had to sit outside for a couple of weeks while I worked on other people's cars and it was kind of dirty nasty but it wasn't bad most 90% of that stuff just rinsed right off and with the foam it took the rest of it off to foam it you have to have a foam cannon and a power washer as some of you may remember but I was just catching you guys up <laughs> if you want to keep up with this or you kind of like it or want to help me out hit the thumbs up hit the like button or whatever there is down there to hit make a comment for me and they tell me it'll up my traffic on here I don't know I don't really care a whole lot but it'd be nice to have a few people watching but I'm on a paint prepper now with some good quality paint prep and then I'm going to put the ceramic coating on there which will take 24 to 48 hours to fully cure before I can put the topper on top of that. Which I think I'm going to put armor on it, which because it's specifically designed to go on top of my ceramic coating, which is DPC Shield. That's what I use. Should last a couple of good years if you take maintain it properly and wash it properly as opposed to the best wax or sealant you can buy will last a matter of months no matter what they say on their advertising ceramic coatings are known to last for years if they are maintained properly so and it's so much easier to clean up your car when you've got a ceramic coating on there it provides a sacrificial layer between the elements and your paint. It will reduce scratches. It will prevent scratches. It makes it easier to wash because that ceramic coating dries hard, folks. It dries hard. There's a couple other advantages. I guess the biggest disadvantage is that for most DIYers, it's very difficult to apply yourself because the prep time involved is the main issue. It takes several days to get a car ready for the coating. All kind of steps involved there. Hey, thanks for the thumbs up. <laughs> Was that you, Jimmy? I'm not sure. It doesn't tell me who did the thumbs up just yet. But uh, if you have any questions, feel free or you want more information about what I do, how I do it, and what I use to do it, you can always ask me in the comments section below, and I'll try to get back to you on that as soon as I can and explain it in as much detail as possible. Or if you want to know what I use, what equipment I use, what products I use, where I get them, that sort of thing. I, as far as I'm concerned in this business, there are no secrets. I'm willing to help anybody that I can anytime 
But I'm going to get off of here now and go to the next step on this bad boy. Happy New Year's, y'all. Goodbye.